So far, I've got the back of the boat jacked up and I've mowed around it. I've got the trailer right here handy. I've got to get the uh, barrel kayak off. But if we look underneath, I get a lot of comments about these straps rusting away. These have been sitting on the ground all winter. I don't see any rust. So I'm going to give those a pass. I see a couple dents in the barrel. But as far as the strapping, no complaints. And now the boat is on the trailer. i got to put the tailgate on, a little advertising. I've got to put the kicker on, get the gas tank, get the trolling motor, strap it down, take off. Oh, one little setback. And I've got to repack this bearing. So I just took my bearing remains down to the auto parts store and I picked up a bearing kit and wheel bearing grease. Bearing kit, $22.99 if you're wondering. Chad 327 with the homemade 55 gallon drum barrel boat. This is episode number eight. And I've got the trolling motor on, I've got the kicker on. I've got it hooked to the car, but we're not going to the water hole just yet. I've got two cans of polyurethane. We're going to stain this deck, stain and seal this deck. It's going to look good. looking good and if you're wondering how did I pick the classic oak it was on sale 350 a can couldn't turn it down just hope I have enough to do the whole thing update time this is my second can the first can took me this far it's pretty good I guess get this other one open and we'll get the rest of it done and I think I'll come all the way down here on the side trim out all the ends Maybe hit some of the other areas twice. Oh, I got me a nice glass of tea here waiting on me. Working on the second can. I got a little bit more to go on the deck. I'll keep going. I'm doing hinges and all. So if you look in the cans, both of them now empty. I kept going around until I used them all up. I think I got every nook and cranny. The door here, I opened it up and got the bottom of the door. I didn't get the floor of that compartment, but I got the door. If we go around to the back, I took the boat motor off and the trolling motor off. Tried to fill in those holes. The footrest got sealed. Hopefully I didn't miss a spot because I'm out of polyurethane. We can put a pin in this job, it is done. Or stick a fork in it. Too bad that miniature tiny house won't fit up there. Probably be too heavy. But I do plan on building another bigger, wider, longer pontoon boat. And I'll try to build some kind of cabin camper, some kind of lightweight, something we can get in. Maybe a removable cabin for the pontoon boat. The future pontoon boat. That's something you can look forward to. Let me know if you want to see another pontoon boat build. Now we got to get it to the water hole. It is the very next day after the polyurethane got put on and it looks better the next day. I'm loving it. Time to get it to the creek, river, spring, something, lake. This is wild. I have varnished the secret door shut. Yeah, that's better. So good. So I just replaced the wheel bearings on one axle on the other side. I've got this side jacked up. That one spins good. They both seem fine. So that's the rear axle. That's the one I just changed the bearings in. That's a whole separate video. I'll leave you a card right here. On the front axle, it feels pretty tight. Spin it. Sounds good. And then when I'm driving, if we go to the springs tomorrow or whenever we go, when you stop to get gas or when you stop to get snacks or when you get the boat ramp, 
you feel this if it feels warm warm indicates a problem if it's hot severe problem i'll check those tomorrow so just the other day when i was varnishing i was standing in this box and it's not rated for 160 pounds it's ready for life jackets i've got to patch that up real quick the good news i've got two l brackets it's not really an l two angle brackets i'm gonna put those on one here one there then we can hold life jackets and light stuff and now the box has been fortified in this corner in that corner and even in that corner three out of four to be good enough to hold life jackets so the last time i was at the springs this kicker it would get up to speed and then it would start to slow down sometimes it would even shut off and i think maybe this old connector there's an o-ring in there it could be all dry rotted and leaking pulling air easy test i bought a new one so we'll slap that on and see what happens I was also digging around in the junk drawer and I found two brackets. That's probably for a uh, window blind and an L bracket. I'm gonna fortify that box just a little bit more. So I got the fuel line all finished. I even put in a fuel filter. Now that little piece of hose is not ideal, but that's what came with the filter. I need to buy one that's maybe a foot long, at least six inches. But for now that should work. I say we pump it up and try to start it. This will filter the gas and if you see any water in there you know you got a problem the water is now on i'm gonna pull that rope a couple times see what happens it's been running probably five minutes i think it's time to go it's ready have made it back to the water hole this is the Swanee River we're gonna shoot right across to Fanning Springs it looks like it's really busy today they are having a duck race she's the duck collector Up there. Mm -hmm. we're just trolling across the river heading right for the springs springs straight ahead and lots of activities. They're gonna have some ski jumping going on soon. I wanna come out and watch that. And hopefully we'll see a manatee up in the spring. Fingers crossed. And she's paddling the wrong way. No manatees yet, but lots of people. They're probably scaring the manatees. Gives me ideas from my boat at home. <laughs> 